If you've ever been daunted by making some mouth-watering fall of the bone red wine braised short ribs, today I'm going to simplify it for you. Now let's get started. I have some English style short ribs and first we're going to season the meat with some salt and pepper and don't be afraid to really get in there and rub it in. We want each and every nook and cranny seasoned before we begin to cook these in order to lock in the flavor while we sear them. Be generous with the seasoning as the last thing we want is for the dish to turn out bland. Next up, we've got to roughly chop up 3 sticks of celery, 3 carrots and 1 yellow onion. Don't be too fast about cutting these in a particular way. They're mostly there to add to the flavor of our sauce and they're not going to be plated in our final dish. You can see here I haven't really cared too much for the precision while chopping these vegetables. It's more about just getting them in there. Once we've got our vegetables chopped up, now it's time to cook. First, we're gonna sear our short ribs. I have used two tablespoons of avocado oil here. Avocado oil has a high smoke point and a neutral flavor that doesn't interfere with the profile of the dish. And I use it for most of the food I cook unless a particular dish needs a particular kind of oil. We want to form a nice crust on each side of the beef. Be patient with this process and about 2-3 to three minutes on each side on medium to high heat should do the trick. Once I've got my meat seared, I'm going to set them aside on a plate. And to the same pot, I'm going to add about 7-8 to eight cloves of garlic and saute them for a couple of minutes in order to release their flavor and get infused with our oil before adding 2 tablespoons of tomato paste. We want to saute this for a couple of minutes in order for the raw taste of the tomato paste to cook off before adding our roughly chopped vegetables. Get them all mixed together and allow them to know each other for a few minutes. Once I've sorted my vegetables for a couple of minutes, I'm going to season this with a little bit of salt and black pepper. Further saute this for a couple of minutes till the onions are translucent. And that's my cue to add in 2 cups of cabernet and 2 cups of beef stock. You can use chicken stock as an alternative but I'd stress on using beef stock if you can find it in your grocery store. Do allow this to come to a simmer and add a couple of sprigs of rosemary and thyme. Give this a stir to infuse the sauce with the flavor of the herbs. After simmering for the further 5 minutes, I'm going to add my meat to the pot and we're going to slow cook this in the oven which has been preheated to about 325 degrees Fahrenheit for 3 and a half hours. Now, the moment of truth. Just look at these beauties. They're so tender, they practically melt in your mouth. I am going to take out the meat from the pot and set it aside. We don't want any of these overcooked vegetables in our final dish. So I'm going to strain the sauce through a sieve. And with the help of a spatula, I press it through the sieve to extract as much flavor into my final sauce.
With the recommendation of my physician, I've tried my best to skim off as much fat of the top as I can before reheating my sauce and reducing it down by half in a saucepan for my final plating. Once my sauce has been reduced by half, now it's time to plate my final dish. I do like these over some mashed potatoes myself, but you can have this over some risotto, pasta or noodles and they will still be as delicious. Finally, I'm going to spoon some of the sauce over the top of my meat and garnish it with some freshly chopped parsley. So that's it for today's recipe. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Now, if you excuse me, I need to go and finish this plate of my delicious red wine based short ribs. Do make sure to share, like and subscribe to our channel for more videos.